Hey everyone, it's Ryan Walker here from the Sax Pro Shop at MusicMedic.com and today I'm going to show you how to properly measure your pad cups and properly fit pads into those pad cups. <laughs> The first thing we're going to start with is a nice clean pad cup. Any old adhesive and shellac should be cleaned away. You can either use some kind of scraper, I like to use an old pad slip, get in there and clean off the surface of the inside of the pad cup. It's especially important to clean off the inside of the rim because that's where you're going to take your measurements from. The other thing we have to look for is if the pad cup itself is damaged or distorted. You can see here this one has a dent on the top and this spine is actually pressed in. You can see it from the inside of the pad cup as well. The other thing that we have to look for is the condition of the rim itself. It should be perfectly round. As you can see, this one here is not round whatsoever. This is not going to give us a proper measurement when we come to fit pads. The other thing that we have to check for is whether or not the pad cup itself is level. For that, I use a bench block and I'll actually put the pad cup on it and see if I can rock it back and forth. If it's not level, then you'll have to do some work to level it out. And then once you do, you can then go ahead and measure for your pad. In order to properly measure a pad cup, I'll use a caliper. And you can see here, this one is set to not only inches, but millimeters. Typically, pad sizes are done in half millimeter sizes. So you'll have an 18, 18.5, 19, 19.5, and so on. What I'll do to measure a pad cup, I'll use two directions, a north-south and east-west direction. I will use my caliper from the inside. This is giving me a measurement of 42.28. I kind of get it in there and wiggle it a little bit until it settles. And then I'll do the same thing with the other direction. This is telling me 42.30. Pad size I would go with this would be a 42.5. A little bit of that leather is going to shrink down a little bit as you work with it and start heating it up and install it. So I think a good size for this would be a 42.5. Okay, what I've done here is I've picked out three different pads. I'm going to show you guys the proper fit. One that's too small, and then also one that's too big. As you can see, the first pad here, we can actually see space around the rim. Okay, this is not good, especially when it comes to applying shellac. Uh, we're going to apply shellac to the back of the pad, heat it up, press it in. With this extra space, you're going to get a lot of shellac spillage. Okay, so not a, lot, not a lot of that shellac is going to stay behind the pad. If we go to this one right here, you can see it doesn't quite go in. It's a little big. I can get it to fit in, but once I do that, now the felt is wrinkled and then the leather itself is also wrinkled. So this pad is in fact too large. I go to this pad right here. It does fit in with a slightly snug fit. Once it's in all the way, I can feel that the leather itself is not wrinkled and then the felt itself is not wrinkled. 